Hi, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and welcome to the Polaris XL build project, part four. So next, for the Polaris, we need to glue on these side extensions onto the ends of the fuselage sides right here. So there's two of them, there's another one down there. And then we have to break off four of these Depron pieces and glue them along the edges. And I think we're going to use some of this 3M77 to do it. Just give that a try. But I may use CA to glue these side extensions on the ends. Okay, so let's go out to the shop. Okay, those two pieces are glued together and all sparred. Now, John is laying out the next project, as we discussed. The side pieces. So while he's in there getting the CA, I'm going to be separating these up. Okay, so next we're going to have to glue on these end pieces. So just put a little CA on there. Actually spray kicker right on that piece there. Once you spray kicker on that, kind of make sure your glue is covered up. And then as soon as this contacts, it hardens. Because the kicker makes it, accelerates the, the drying process. So that should already be dry pretty much. And then get it loose from the wax paper quick. There. Now both of those pieces are, are pretty much done now. They'll continue to dry over the next 15 minutes or so, but they won't come loose. Okay, now we can proceed to cutting out your cap was going the way. I'm going to cut out four of these side pieces from the kit here. I think the two end pieces aren't used because there's not, eight in the middle. Yeah, there's eight in the middle and two on the ends that really aren't consistent in width. And I think they're just scrap. So we'll go for like four of these middle pieces. Okay, so when these come out of the box, they're of course the, exactly the same, but we don't want to build them the same. We want to build mirror images. So what we want to do is have sides maybe on one, but then the other to be a mirror image. Something like this. So that means the sides will have to go like this so that when we put the two halves together, they're a mirror image of each other. 3M77 stick them, that's what we're going to use. Now we want to let this hang over, yeah here it is right here, thanks John. So that's the 3M77 right there, actually it's a Super 77, 3M Super 77. Kind of sounds like a gas station or something. But there it is right there. Okay, so yeah, we, a we can use a piece of this foam to get that 6 millimeter spacing because there's going to be a firewall or a former. Got to stay on camera somehow. So a firewall or a former goes right across here. So we need to get a little six millimeter spacing right in here. So just got to keep that in mind. So I'm going to use this scrap to space that right there. All right, so now we just need to go ahead and put the 3M77 on those pieces first. Okay, I got all four pieces laid out on some cardboard here because this 3M Super 77 makes a mess. There's not even a ball in it. So I don't know whether it does any good to shake it up. But anyway, we'll just spray on 
quite a bit on here. Hopefully we'll get it on the foam more than on the cardboard, but it doesn't matter. Just spray it on there. And it's going to take quite a while for this to dry, so that will give us time to get it on there. Okay, that's that. Now I'm just going to set this cardboard aside. Okay, this has already got the glue on that side. Yep, I can feel it. Okay, so I'm going to go start here first with my six millimeter spacer. Just put that down. Of course, you can always just cut it off afterward, but I just thought it would be easier if I just spaced it with that. Okay, now, this eventually. now this stuff's really, I'm surprised how tacky this is. This stuff is extremely tacky, so don't worry about it popping loose, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to come along, doing my thing, singing my song. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, because we've got to curve it around this edge right here. And give it a little tip. And man, that is already on there. Just cut off a little extra, leave a little extra. And we'll trim it all later. So, yeah, I got the spacing right here. So that little spacing. Okay, now we've got to hurry up and do the next one, right? Okay, now on this one, right, let's see if I can get that in the picture. Yeah, right here, it can only go back so far because there's not enough room. So you kind of, yeah. Now it's not enough width, there's a lot of width here and not enough room, so you just bring this down to where it matches the width of this little piece and then start laying it down. And that's pretty good. John's trimming off the end. We're just leaving a little extra sticking out here, we'll trim that About off. Two with. millimeters to be exact. Two millimeters right on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the mirror image, so bottom to bottom right here, and the tops are out here. Making sure we get our mirror image. Put that scrap right there. Just making sure it doesn't touch the door. Yeah. We'll finalize that with over here where John is going to cut the end off. Leaving a little bit extra sticking off. Just later we'll trim this completely flush, but for now we're just doing that. Okay, so we're using these directions here and working with these formers that are in the picture right here. And uh, what we got to do is put the first one out of the nose. And then the next one's back six and three eighths, and the next one's back twelve and three quarters. And then the last one goes at the step that we made over here. So we're going to go ahead and glue those in with some foam tack. Starting with this one. Starting with the nose. Okay, foam tack, please. Oh, right here it is. <laughs> now, if you see any of these little tips sticking out, We'll just sand them off with some coarse sandpaper. I'm using about 80 grit here. So just sanding those off where appropriate. Okay, now, where's that nose? There it is right there. A little foam tack right on these areas. And foam tack takes a while to dry, so we should be able to true it up, get it all 90 degrees later. But Oh, I'm not on camera. There we go. Just tacking these edges.
Okay, we're getting ready to put the other side on and John's just trimming. Just kind of saw those off there. There we go. He's just trimming the nose on the other one. And I'm going to put some glue on this nose piece. Good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So it wraps around the nose. tape I mean. Yeah go ahead and stick one in, give it plenty there. There we go. Something like that. I don't know if that's on camera. Let me get over here. There we go. Alright now I'll get this piece on. Get it even there. Okay. Now we'll just stretch it really good and put it down on there. Okay. Now the idea is we've got to get all of these to bend evenly. That's how you do this one next. This one about the end here. Instead of right. lining everything up. Like so that. Why don't we just go ahead and put some glue on all of them? Yeah. That way uh, we can do it. Some wood fiber. Let's go ahead and put glue on every one of the formers. Okay, so we're pretty happy with it. We just got some tape on there holding it, kind of shaped it up. We want to make sure we keep the shape pretty good, so what I'm going to do is where these ends right here don't quite line up, I'm going to go ahead and pull them so that they do line up and then just tape them. So I'm just going to tape those two together, make sure they don't slip. Just like that. That keeps these even, which keeps the whole thing more symmetrical. Alright, now we got to fit this bottom on. Which goes on right like that. From the nose to where the step is. And it's a little bit long, it's a little bit wide, but we'll, we'll just send, kind of sand that off later. So, let's apply some foam tack. Put a lot of foam tack on here. All right. All over here. All right. Very good. Got a little left here. I'll just put it right there. Okay. So what I'm going to go do first is just lay it on here and you know let it catch some of the glue and then I'm pulling it back off to let it tack off. I actually did that, a, this is the second time I've done it just to make sure I got glue all around the edges and I'm just kind of letting it tack up so that when I do put them down it'll be permanent. Okay we're back, time to apply it now that it's tacked up after a couple minutes. All right. Just going to make sure there's a little overhang here all around. Just making sure I get it centered. Because we'll probably have to cut or sand, either or. See, that's already stuck pretty good because that foam tack was very tacky. Okay, now John's going to apply some tape. Gives you time to just look at it a little bit and slide it to your liking. Okay, I think it's on there pretty good. 